All right, a sandwich from Burger King came out two years ago. It returns, but it's bringing two friends along. It's in this bag. We're going to check it out. Cue the intro. What is up, everyone? It is the endorsement, and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. You heard me. The chicken parmesan sandwich is back at Burger King. The crispy chicken parmesan sandwich is back at Burger King. It's bringing two friends along. It's a uh, trifecta of chicken parmesan goodness. They have the grilled chicken version, the crispy chicken version, which I did about two years ago, and they also have the spicy chicken version of the chicken parm. I went with the spicy chicken version of chicken parm. It's going to come with mozzarella, some shaved parmesan, as well as the spicy chicken. We're going to get up close and personal with this. Let's check it out. All right, check it out right there. You can see the mozzarella cheese and you see the flakes of the Parmesan. I'm gonna pop the top in a minute. There is the crispy, spicy chicken patty right there and uh, the glossy bun. Now let's pop the top and take a look. There's some uh, cheese and some remnants of uh, some of the marinara sauce. I think I forgot to mention marinara sauce in the intro. I got all excited about chicken parm, but check this out. That does not look great. Chicken parm, and that's all the sauce I'm getting. Oh, come on, Burger King. And I will tell you something else. These uh, shaved particles of Parmesan cheese, not loving it. Not loving it. And this had a little time to melt, uh, and there's really not much meltage going on. Check out the cheese again with that little bit of anemic sauce chicken parm should have melted cheese all over this. I mean, they have a decent amount of cheese, but it's hardly melted. Check it out right there. And so much of the uh, Parmesan and look at the amount of sauce. Mm, early returns on this bad boy. Not even a huge size either. Check it out right there. And this thing was $4.99. It comes in two other versions, like I mentioned. The grilled version is $5.49. And the regular crispy version of this is $4.99 as well. Same price as the spicy. So we're going to try to keep an open mind. This needs, to me, more melted cheese. More melted cheese. It needs a lot more sauce. You can't just put a ladle of sauce on there. Is there any in the bottom? There's a little bit on the bottom. Check it out right there, but not much at all. Oh, this should be dripping with sauce and cheese. I mean, looking at it, it is a decent amount of cheese, like I said, but uh, not melted. And uh, But that sauce is really throwing me off. So wish me luck upside down. The more you turn me inside out and round and round. All right, here we go. The spicy chicken version of the chicken Parmesan over at uh, BK. This actually starts uh, today. Today. Thursday. What is today? It's coming out today. So got my hands on it, showing it to you. Let's give it a shot. Mm -hmm. Yep. I was afraid of it. A little dry. Little dry, my friends. A little dry. All right, so I will say it is a little dry, but I am enjoying the spiciness of the uh, patty, the uh, chicken breast. Uh, probably a four out of 10 on the like heat scale. Has a nice little burn to it, nice little spice. And I'll be honest, like I said, I'm going into this with an open mind, even though it did not look great. Uh, the cheese was okay. Even though it wasn't melted, still had a nice flavor. I could taste both the Parmesan as well as the mozzarella. I mean, I still would prefer that thing melted. I don't know how they could do it, but uh, I would like them to do it. And there's some more of the Parmesan right there. But let's go in for a second bite. But let me tell you, this definitely needs a lot more of the marinara sauce to be a true chicken parm. And also to add a little more moisture to this because it is a dry sandwich. So second bite. Yeah, so I'm going to reiterate, it is a decent sized uh, chicken breast. The uh, spice is on point for what I was expecting. Uh, like I said, four, four and a half on the uh, spice game. But uh, the lackluster amount of the marinara sauce uh, is definitely hurting this a little bit. 
but I will say after two bites, the cheese works on this. I was skeptical because sometimes those uh, Parmesan flakes are hard and they don't work and they also looked a little bit off-putting at first, but uh, the combination of the two cheeses worked for me. I just wish this had more marinara. You saw it. There was just like a little dab. And no, I'm sorry, uh, Burger King. A dab will not do me when it comes to a uh, chicken parm sandwich. So one more bite. We'll give it a rating. Here we go. All right, so final breakdown on this, uh, $4.99 for this version, as well as the crispy, $5.49 for the grilled uh, version. It's okay. Uh, it kind of saved itself at the end there. The uh, cheese worked nicely, as well as the bun. It was soft, and I enjoyed uh, the chicken. The chicken was dry, and I think that could have been helped with more marinara, like I said. So we're just going to give this a rating, shall we? On a scale of 1 to 100, with 1 meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of... I'm going to give the brand new, or should I say returning, chicken parm sandwich from uh, Burger King. Spicy version. You know what it is. You saw it. I'm going to give it a rating of... It's a tough one. I think I'm going to give this an 80... Three. I'm going to give this an 83 with some more marinara sauce. This could have been close to that 90 range, I think. The chicken was a little bit dry, but again, if it had more of that sauce on there, I think it would have worked out fine. Five dollars. It's not the biggest sandwich, so I knocked off a couple points here or there, but I mean, it's okay, but it can be so much better so much better. Uh, I'm not sure if I will try this again. Maybe I will because it does have the potential. Just what I got today kind of left me wanting a little bit more. So uh, there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media getting the word of my channel out to the masses. So in closing, please let me know in the comments below, will you try this version? Will you try any of the other two versions? I will probably link my review of the uh, crispy version that I did two years ago down below. I purposely did not go watch that. I didn't want uh, my mind to be taken to a place. I wanted to get this on its own and not have some preconceived notion of what I was getting into. But I liked it. I could have loved it. That's all I got. All right, bonus footage. Just look at this cross section. You see what I'm saying? Looks wise, they have the shavings of that Parmesan. This is such a basic sandwich, but a chicken parm sandwich is basic. It just needs to be done right. Marinara sauce, a good amount of cheese, melted cheese, as well as a decent uh, piece of chicken. And like I said, the bun was soft. That was fine. But this was dry and lacked uh, some moisture from the sauce. So again, I'm reiterating. I'm trying to get it into your brain noggin. i love to hear some comments below if you've already tried this. I mean, it came out today, so I'm not sure how many of you have actually tried this. But when you try this, come back, leave some comments below. Let me know how uh, yours turned out. I would be interested to see. And in the meantime, I might go back and try another version or try this version again we'll just have to see but not sure if i'll do another video on it but uh disappointed disappointed burger king gotta come better I was afraid of it. A little dry. Little dry, my friends. A little dry.